My name is uh, my initials, JD. Deuce found me on a, a bus as a child. They changed my first diaper on the 180 going to Glendale from Hollywood. So he's been calling me J-Dog ever since, and it just kind of stuck. Shit. It was great, but you know who paid more attention than we did was my dad, and he was like, number two? Didn't I teach you better than that? He did a snapping thing with his belt, and I was like, <laughs> You would have thought, Dad, I mean, it's not. I hate two. it when you refer to me as your dad, dude. It's weird. <laughs> uh, actually, it was Charlie Cena. I was in, I was in my bunk on the bus it's and daddy. started snapping his belt. <laughs> yeah, that was I was waking up for every number show. Two. <laughs> he was, he was so show. pissed at all of us because yeah. uh, we got I, number two. I was upset. He was very upset. Yeah. <laughs> After a show once, he had sex on a cardboard box behind the trash can. In the snow, and he was fully. Both of them. Were you fully naked, or was it just, just her? Oh, she was. I was fully clothed. It's a weird mixture. <laughs> Bleep that out. First line. What's up, bum to curls? Dum Dumbo, you're supposed to say, and I'm here with. No, he just wanted to do our names first. Hi. Um, <laughs> who's your favorite celebrity crush? Oh, really? I actually have two. Uh, Alicia Cuthbert, earmuffs, babe. Oh, yeah. And uh, Jenna Malone. She's a girl from Donnie Darko. She's like my age. She went to school in New York. She was into the arts. Kind of like I was. Which one? She got less hot, that girl. Oh, well, I haven't seen a recent movie with her. Like acne. Um, mine are. What's that one girl? What's the one with the big lips? She was in Lost in Translation. Oh, oh no. Scarlett? Yeah, yeah. Scarlett Johansson. No. Dude, this I'm is right there with you. mine. Yeah. Dude, my neighbor and then, used to hook over there. and then, uh, Carmen Electra <laughs> ten years ago, and then J Dog right now because he just kissed me. What about what's your name from? Uh, uh, what's your name? Hey, funny man, who's your celebrity crush? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, what's good, baby? Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. yeah. Scarlett Johansson and that girl from True Blood, Whoa. the main chick. Oh. She fun. That Suki, Suki from True Blood. That's Rogue from X Men. Yeah, she fun as hell. She be looking good, you know what I'm saying? I be, be want to get a piece of that. Hey, baby, if you listen to this, I love you. When I get famous, you walk in the red carpet with me. I'm taking you to the VMAs, baby. <laughs> and, uh, she wanted to know: Would you ever consider letting a female join the group? This is the dumbest question. Oh my god. <laughs> Closest thing to it. <laughs> <laughs> we already have one bitch in our band. He's right here. Um, just kidding, baby. I love him. He's not a bitch. Don't call him that. Um, no, we would never let a female in our group. That would take away from our credibility, and we would be a gay band. Blogger.com with Hollywood Undead backstage at Rock of the Range. How are you guys enjoying your morning so far, afternoon? Uh, it's very straight and not gay. No, we've been making gay jokes all day, so we're trying to lay off them a little bit. But pro gay. It's not a joke. Like, well, okay, it's not a joke. It's not a joke to some of us. We're gay. <laughs> we gotta start that Wikipedia rumor going. <laughs> it's not a rumor. It's a way of life. <laughs> we're not just rumors, we're ways of life. <laughs> no, we're just messing around, sorry. We're just messing. Does that mic pick up all the way there? Wow. Yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Every time I'm on stage, Charlie Cena has to make some homosexual remark about me. This is high school. <laughs> yeah. The <laughs> uh, most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me was when I was in elementary school. And, well, there's two things, actually. One time I got pantsed in elementary school, and I had a real tiny schlong. And the second one is one time this girl kicked me in the balls in front of everyone in school. And I started crying. And I was in bail <laughs> Alright. Andrew Payton wants to know, what's the weirdest thing a girl has ever thrown at you guys? Okay, here you go, Johnny. I mean, Charlie. Um, some girl threw a penis sucker at me. Schlong sucker. It was a rainbow color sucker. Threw it at me. Johnny found it backstage and sucked the <laughs> out of it. <laughs> My f***ing penis sucker. <laughs> like puking, passed out on a golf cart, and they had to come find me. Funny man was arrested. Every time we come here, and the last time we were here, the bartender girl, she's like, I feel bad. She's just a you know, freshman in college. She's like, hi, how you doing? Would you like a beer? I was like, yeah. She's like, what band are you with? I was like, Hollywood Head. She's like, 
I was told not to serve you guys anymore. And I was like, what? <laughs> Would you, you describe go. your music? In one word. In one word, anyone. One word? One word? Uh, fucking righteous, dude. <laughs> if I had to do it in one word, it'd be fucking righteous, dude. <laughs> If I had to describe Hollywood and Dead's music in one word, I'd, uh, unique? Fresh. 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 <laughs> Fucking bitchin'. Yeah. Everywhere I go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? Radical. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> radical. Fucking radical. Come here. Too many syllables in that word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Big Deuce in the house. What's up, baby? <laughs> Big Deuce, Deuce, baby. Me and Jay Dizzle right here for Shizzle, baby. You know what I'm saying? Big <laughs> black. Yeah, let me sit down. <laughs> all, right, all right. What's up? What's up? No, I'm not a big shot. Hey, dude. Uh, what's, uh, what, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? Um, shit, probably when I got hit by a car when I was skating with J-Dog a long yeah, time ago. I was chasing him, and he was running from me, and he got hit by a car. Yeah. He, he hit him in the elbow, and he spun around like 50 times and drilled into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably it. All right. Yeah. Um, honestly, do you have a weenie that you love to show? Um, yeah, I do. I used to do this trick where you take the back of a knife like the unsharp sharp part, and I used to put it on a cutting board, and when people would come to my house when I was having parties, I would act like I was chopping my weenie off. <laughs> and you'd pretend he was in pain. You'd go, oh, and it, it'd be rolling underneath the knife, and I thought he was in pain. It, uh, I know that I've probably interviewed you guys, I, I want to say I'm coming up on four or five times now. And, and, and every time you reintroduce yourself to me. I do, man. Yeah. Well, because I never know if you're going to remember. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, I, mean, I don't everything. want to take. I don't want to take that for granted. Like you're going to remember my bald, big eared ass. I mean, no, I, I remember. I was actually I a little offended when I walked in. You're like, hi. I'm yeah. Like, you said nice to meet you. Yeah. And you know, I was very offended. It's a shame. Maybe you are the drunk one. This from B Stone. Do you guys have any type of uh, pre-show rituals? And Charlie, seen you take me to Del Taco on a first date? Um. He's going to make me pay for it, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you pay for it. Um, pre-show rituals, yeah, we do. We, um, we touch heads like noble knights. We say <laughs> something inspirational to each other usually, maybe give the pound. Sometimes we do the... Yeah, sometimes we do, uh, we chant. <laughs> you have distortion right here. Maybe a couple uh, sides here. Right? But, but yeah, rituals, yeah, we definitely drink beers too, that's definitely a ritual. Um, and then first date at Del Taco, yes, we can go. Ask Randy first. Yeah, so let me ask my uh, boyfriend. Is it okay? I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can go. What, 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 what? <laughs> what, what? It's like, we can get really serious if you want us to. We'll uh, start quoting the Bible. No, no, no. I feel a little dark today. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because the lights turned out. <laughs> and he got scared. As long as there's no kitty cats. No, I promise. None. Anyway, we're good. There you go. What turns you on about the opposite sex? Nothing turns me on about the opposite sex, but everything turns me on about the same sex. Look at these sexy motherfuckers. That turns me on. That turns me on. That turns me on. That Jin, okay. Who has the hottest mom? <laughs> uh, high school kids are thinking good, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I have the best know. looking mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. <laughs> Not to be a pervert, but. Uh, Rita Ehrlichman. <laughs> uh, That's my mama. Mama. That's why. <laughs> Favorite cartoon? Not now, but I mean as a child. Oh, yeah, I don't watch that gay shit. Uh, growing up, um, probably Smurfs or some shit. Smurfs or Dennis the Menace, the cartoon I used to like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like either like. Yeah, yeah, Ninja Turtles, yeah. Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry. No, 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 hold on, man. I like Ninja Turtles too. He still watches cartoons. I still watch cartoons. Heavy metal cartoons, porno cartoons. Yeah, me freaky, me freaky. Me freaky. Thundercats rules, man. What were you debating? Who, no debate. who would you rather sleep with, Joe Cocker or uh, the guitarist from The Who? Because I said Cocker because the name, obviously. <laughs> <laughs>
Flame Girl 321 wants to know uh, how can uh, she can become a roadie. Not gonna happen, so stop asking those stupid questions. <laughs> Next question, please. On the record, I think everyone's happy with the choices, and I'm sure the songs that didn't make it on the record will eventually come out. Uh, why? Switch places with anyone else in the band. Who would you switch with, and why? Um. Funny man, because then I'd have some rich Mexican Latino parents. <laughs> what is your best pickup line to get? Well, anybody. Me <laughs> freaky. <laughs> this one always used to work for me. Uh, you look really familiar. Um, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> All right, my bad. Yo, I just tell the girl, yo, let me take you out to a steak dinner, and they go, they drop to their knees, huh? You know what I'm saying? I've never really picked up on girls in that sense, but one thing I do ask girls that are married because I know they lie is if they're actually married because I'm just curious, not because I'm picking up on them. I'm more of a masturbator, not really a fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I mostly tell them I like their default picture and ask them if they like our band since I'm usually writing them from it. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, um, you guys got some high-tech microphones here. Thank you. Did you get these from the future? <laughs> Something like that. If you could tour with any band in the world, uh, who would it be and where would you want to go? We're going to hold that for you. Yeah. Here you go. Um, <laughs> senses fail. Where would you want to go? Oh, so I'll do a whole U.S. tour again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so why did you name your album Swan Songs? Um, it's uh, because when a swan dies, um, he sings a beautiful note, and um, and we thought it was ironic to name our song after something that goes uh, that means like the end of something when it's just the beginning, and um, Led Zeppelin was the name of their record label. And uh, J Dog sings a mean immigrant song. Oh, <laughs> oh. That turns me on. What's your favorite sex position? I usually my favorite sex position position my favorite sex position is usually when I'm uh, laying on my back and uh, my hand is going up and down and then. Um, and then I, uh, and then I finish, and that's it. <laughs> so, why was your album put on hold for so long? Uh, it was a uh, censorship issues because we didn't want to censor our album, and uh, his girlfriend was pregnant. And we couldn't go on the road without him. So, you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, um, she was pregnant with somebody else's kid, so I didn't want to go on the road <laughs> until I punched her in the stomach. <gasps> Say no to abortions. Just do it yourself. That was so bad. <laughs> Why? Oh, I thought it was college. <laughs> As a child, a hellion, you know, princess. Me was freaky. <laughs> I was a good kid, got into some trouble, normal stuff. Me was freaky. Oh, me was freaky. I pass. I just to go to Bora Bora. Danny? Me freaky. <laughs> Johnny freaky? <laughs> <laughs> to freaky. And we're Hollywood Undead. Tomorrow, so sexy, so far. She blows my mind.